time for another broadcast of Brown County Sports on BC Hornet Sports. BC Hornet Sports brings to you Brown County Little League Baseball and Softball. High school and junior high softball, baseball, volleyball, football, and basketball. These broadcasts would not be possible without the support of our local sponsors. Let the sponsors know how much you appreciate them bringing the broadcast to you. Proceeds from the advertising and donations help to pay the expenses and help Hope Through Faith Ministries to help local sports programs and activities bring speakers to speak to our Brown County students as well as other programs such as Critical Life Seminars and much more. We hope you enjoy the broadcast on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to BC Hornet Sports in the Screen Heating and Cooling pregame show brought to you by the Comfort Man at Screen Heating and Cooling. Give them a call at 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. Steve Surratt here with you with baseball. On the other channel, we've got softball. Lisa Surratt has that for you. It's Triopia at Brown County Day. So it'll be the girls playing on the softball field and the boys on the baseball field today. Double header for you. We've got a full week of broadcast now that the weather has got cleaned up for us. Hopefully uh, we won't get rained out this week, but uh, we're here today. Tomorrow we'll be back with the boys. Wednesday we're checking on traveling to Astoria if we can get some decent internet reception. Thursday we'll be back with North Green boys and girls. And then uh, Friday, we'll be back with the broadcast for you. So with that, we're going to take a station break. Uh, thank our sponsors for helping us bring this broadcast to you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Disasters can strike when you least expect it, but that doesn't mean you can't be prepared. At ServiceMaster Restore, we offer pre-loss planning services that will help your business stay better prepared for the unexpected. With over 65 years of industry experience, ServiceMaster Restore has the experience and know-how to provide the peace of mind you need to make sure your business stays protected. Call ServiceMaster Restore today for more information on our pre-loss planning services and get the help you deserve now. Land Guy's Toby Stay's relentless pursuit is to use his local expertise to help connect those with a shared passion for land. If you're in the market to sell, give him a call at 217-257-6096. Additionally, if you're in the market to buy, you can find his current listings by scanning the QR code on the screen or following him on Facebook at Toby Stay Land Broker or on Instagram at Toby Stay. He looks forward to connecting with you and providing a smooth process to your transaction. Larry Denning Counting has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Down and Counting, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400. Mount Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. 
I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rig since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Albertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. Learn more at hospital.com. Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. As a student at St. Mary's School, your child will receive strong educational foundation embedded with Christian values. All students, kindergarten through eighth grade, have individual iPads along with personalized attention with a small class size. St. Mary's also offers Fulham half-day pre-K, affordable tuition, a family atmosphere, and exceptional teachers. Register your child today by calling Melissa at St. Mary's School at 217-773-2825. Napa know-how. Hello, Earl Flack for your locally owned McKay Nap Auto Parts store. Summer bodies, summer hot. Oh, what the heck? I'm just talking about summer savings. We've got turtle wax on sale. $6.49 for polishing compound. Meguiar's hot rims and all-wheel tire cleaner. Hot. $6.99 for a bottle. Get the Meguiar's line in our store. Wax on, wax off. That's right. Detail cloths on sale. Got scrubs, got towels, got all the good stuff to keep that car clean. Get the good stuff with Napa know-how and thank you for your business. Timewell Drainage Products is a locally owned family company that has provided incredible employment opportunities in our area for over 40 years. Our constantly growing company is always looking for dynamic individuals who want to be part of an innovative, fast-paced team. To join our team, visit us online at timewellpipe.com. Timewell Drainage Products, a proud community employer since 1982. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times. And you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports and the East Grant Heating and Cooling pregame show. Give them a call at 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. Time for the keys of the game brought to you by Blessing Health System. Blessing Mount Sterling Clinic keeps you close to home with your family medicine care at 521 East Main Street. Same day appointments are available. Please call 217-773-7105 for an appointment today. That's 217-773-7105. We have some pretty simple keys to the game from the mound, uh, it, and that's going to be in the hands of Matt Boylan today. 
Can't walk a lot of people. Can't walk people, period. Walks turn into runs. That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is from the field. Uh, got to feel the grounders clean. Got to get people out. Cannot, uh, cannot have errors. And so uh, with that, you got to stay on top of things. Don't have the errors. And uh, then from the batting side of things, got to put the bat on the ball and get it someplace. Uh, errors in the field, I'll go back to that for a minute. That can be throwing the ball to the wrong base, trying to throw somebody out and allowing that runner to come up and, and be in scoring position and allowing two runs that way. And so that's uh, our keys to the game brought to you by Blessing Health Systems at 521 East Main Street in Mount Sterling. We'll be back with the starting lineups after these messages. Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We are excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas. Specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons. Commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. Hi, this is Brad Casting at Ray Insurance Agency here in Mount Sterling. We're located at 128 West Main Street. You can reach us at 217-773-3851. You may know that we are specialists in farm insurance as well as crop insurance and crop hail. But what you might not know is that we can quote and give you competitive quotes on your home, your auto, and your commercial business. So please feel free to give us a call at 217-773-3851 for all your insurance needs. Thinking about replacing a furnace or building a home? Confused by the options? Contact the Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling about GeoComfort Geothermal Systems. Harness the energy stored in the earth to provide your heating and cooling. Geothermal is extremely efficient, safe, and environmentally friendly. It could save you up to 70% on your heating and cooling bills. Call The Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling at 217-773-2626 to discover the best option for your home. Orthopedics is probably one of the best specialties where you see something that's happened that's ugly and you get to see such a change when you fix them. My passion is getting people back to their regular activities of life. That's the reason why I went into orthopedics this job has been so satisfying. It is so much fun to do what I do. You get to help a lot of people and it's definitely one of the things that give me great satisfaction. Yingling and Nissen Insurance. Stop in and talk to one of our agents today about your insurance needs. We really appreciate the support of the community in our business for the last 40 some years. Come and see us if you have questions on, on your policy with us, or if you want to quote and you're with someone else now, we'd be happy to work with you. If Yingling and this agency a call at 217-773-3397. Go on it! When you are ready to move to a new home or refinance the one you are in, Farmer State Bank and Trust Company in Mount Sterling will make sure the process moves along smoothly with competitive rates, superior service, and great solutions that fit your lifestyle and budget. Call us today and get everything you need to get moving. Farmer State Bank and Trust Company of Mount Sterling. Locally owned, locally operated, locally dedicated. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
When I started at DOT, I realized I could make a career out of this. It's just amazing the people you get to interact with when you get here. It's a family atmosphere for me. One of my main jobs is talking to people, trying to understand what's going on, uh, where they're at in life, what, what they're needing from me to get their job done. I've met so many people, and uh, it's been a real blessing to be a part of all that. Big company in a small town, that's a fact. When my life needed growth, I chose DOT, and I never left. Just like a coach preparing their team for the new season, Doug and Darren Henry, your ASE certified technicians at Henry Automotive, want to make sure your vehicle is ready for whatever season is ahead. Henry Automotive provides dealership quality auto repair and service at hometown prices. Henry Automotive is located 1157 690th East Street in Mount Sterling. Just turn north at the KC Hall onto Damon Road, drive 1.8 miles and look for the big blue and yellow sign or call Henry Automotive at 773 90 66. Hey, this is Lance Grady with L. Grady Realty, Brown County's premier residential and commercial real estate brokerage. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or rent, we would love to work with you. You can check us out on the internet at www.lgradyrealty.com, find us on Facebook, or call or text me personally anytime at 217-491-0812. L. Grady Realty, local brokers, local office, local expertise. We are Brown County's leading residential real estate brokerage. Main Street Repair and Terry Ham have the reputation of being the best at front-end alignments in the area. With 20 years of experience, Terry is the person that customers and auto repair professionals refer their friends and customers to. But alignments are not the only thing that they do at the Main Street Repair. They repair steering and suspension issues, install leveling and lift kits, repair and replace brakes and tires, do oil changes, as well as minor engine and miscellaneous repairs. Main Street Repair at 216 West Main Street in Mount Sterling. Call for your appointment today at 217-773-3848. Once again, that's 217-773-3848. 3848. This is Tracy Hendricker with the Hendricker Funeral Home in Mount Sterling. For the past 50 years, our family has committed to providing the finest facilities and compassionate services to our community. We pledge to continue to assist the families we serve as though they were our own. We also want to wish the best of luck to all those competing on the playing field or striving for excellence in the classroom. You all make Hornet Nation so very proud. And remember, go Hornets! Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Steve Surratt back with you on the broadcast. Lisa Serrato, we're doing softball today. Here's your starting lineups brought to you by Dot Transportation. If you're looking for a driving job of any kind, go to driveforDTI.com. That's driveforDTI.com to check out their possibilities for you for driving jobs. Touch, no touch freight, local, regional, uh, touch, no touch freight. Uh, you've got it all there available at Dot Transportation. And uh, so with that today, uh, with the game getting started today, let's look at those starting lineups here in the Scranton Heating and Cooling pregame for the visitors. It'll be Brock York. He'll bat first, and he's uh, on the mound today. In the second spot will be Grant Fricky. He'll be at shortstop. Cooper Parrish will be the catcher. He'll bat in the third spot. The fourth spot will be Austin Struby, and he'll be at third base. Evan Bell will be the fifth place hitter. He'll be in center field. Ian Stock will be the second baseman. He'll bat in the sixth spot. Uh, at third base or first base will be Jacob Cook. He'll be in that seventh spot. In the eighth spot will be Carter Lakehamp, and he'll be in right field. Sam Miller will be your left fielder, and he'll bat ninth. For Brown County, looks like this. Matt Boylan on the mound behind the plate. It will be uh, Bus. Jack Bus behind the plate, first base, Colin Dieterle, second base, will be um, da, 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 Meyer Maxwell. Third base will be uh, Vlad Rabarchek. Shortstop today will be uh, Maverick Henry. Your left fielder, Wyatt Kassing, center fielder, Jack Sefton, and your left fielder will be, or right fielder will be Eli Staten. The DH for Brown County today will be Dylan Rice. As we've got ready to go here, in this contest uh, to start play as we uh, 
look at this team and see what we can uh, see what will happen here. I hope I can see Game Changer. It looks like it is getting ready to come up. So with that, we get ready to go as Brown County will take the field. And so we'll take one more station break. We'll be back after these messages. When it comes to your money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community. Working where we live, we make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Maintaining your lawn can be a never-ending battle, but Bemis Lawn Service with their state-of-the-art equipment and skilled team of lawn experts are ready to take on any job you need completed for your lawn, such as lawn maintenance, fertilization, turf weed control, grub control, driveway weed control, overseeding, and shrub trimming. Call Aaron at 217-653-0198 or Scott at 217-653-0197. Bemis Lawn Service, they've got an eye for all things green. Go Hornets! Cassing Lumber Company in Mount Sterling is celebrating 50 years in business. We are your one-stop shop for all the supplies you need for your next home improvement project. Top quality lumber, building materials, and paint will give your home the freshness it deserves. We also offer a unique gift shop with new items every season for your home decor. Come visit us in Mount Sterling and always think Cassing Lumber. We'll all be glad you did. In Brown County, you know how much it means to have neighbors you can count on. Like the one who mowed your lawn and trimmed that week you were sick? Well, here's another good neighbor you can count on. State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright. Carolyn and her team are here to help life go right when you combine your home and auto insurance, which can save you money and time. So combine home and auto and start the savings rolling. Call State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright at 217-773-4170 today. KLC Inc. They are an apparel shop that specializes in screen printing, embroidery, custom and team apparel, promotional products, fundraising items, home decor, and personalization of almost anything. They strive to make the customer number one and get the customer the professional results that they are looking for. KLC Inc. at 509 Pittsfield Road or call them at 217-773-9090. KLC Inc. You think it, we ink it. Got Lisa Surratt on the diamond here for a little bit. Steve went over to troubleshoot my side. First one was hit and got him. Fielded it and got him clean there. Barely got him back on, but hey, that's all it takes. Let's see if I can get this right so that he can figure out what I've written for him. So up to bat will be Fricky, Grant Fricky. Looks in, and the pitch, strike called. And you got Boylan on the mound for the Hornets. The pitch, a little low for a ball. 1-1 one, one count. And on deck is Cooper. Parrish Cooper. Got me figured out. I'm going to hand the set back over here. Back with you. The wind in the pitch from Boylan fouled off for a strike. First batter, York, grounded out to the second baseman. Grant Fricky, your batter. As we're Finally got her on board. Let me catch my breath here. Looks like 2-2 the count. The next pitch from Boylan. Strike three called. That'll be the first strikeout as he's caught looking. Next batter will be Cooper Parrish. Parrish steps in from the right-hand side. Two outs here in 
the top of the first inning. Boylan winds. Here's the pitch. Low for a ball. Nice block, even though nobody was on base. Good block there by Buss. Ball one. Boylan steps on, takes a look. Here's the wind in the pitch to Parrish. Low for ball two. Two balls, no strikes. The wind and the pitch. Ball high makes it ball three. First two batters went smoothly for Boylan. Looks in, here's the wind, the pitch. On the 3-0, strike makes it a 3-1. Three balls, one strike as Boylan steps back on the mount. Here's the wind and the pitch. Ground ball off the plate. Boylan gets it, feels it, throws to first. Dearly makes the catch. That'll be a 1-3 on the out. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody on left on base as we head to the bottom of the first. It's nothing, nothing. Nobody on the scoreboard. We'll be back. All About Dance and More LLC is celebrating Season 17 by providing more ways for students to perform, learn choreography, and grow bold relationships together. All classes highlight traditional dance techniques, age-appropriate terms, and unique choreography. Come explore the magic of AADM with recreational classes and competitive team options. Wishing all BC Hornets luck this year. AllAboutDanceAndMore.com A collision with your vehicle can be stressful on its own. You don't need more stress dealing with the Auto Body Shop. Mowen Auto Body and owners Chuck and Brandy Mowen can help take the stress out of the process. Chuck brings over 24 years in the Auto Body business and is iCar certified. Mowen Auto Body, 149 Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Call 217-773-2127. Mowen Auto Body, the quality of yesterday with the knowledge of today, the right choice in collision repair. Central Illinois Home Inspection, the first name you should think of when buying a new home. Specializing in general home inspections, mold inspections, termite inspections, sewer scopes, radon testing, and drone photography. And serving the surrounding area since 2009, licensed and insured. Give them a call today at 217-622-6788. That's 217-622-6788. The Mount Sterling Savings Center, a customer-owned savings bank offering online banking from your computer or mobile phone, allowing you access to your account on your schedule. The Mount Sterling Savings Center is a proud supporter of Brown County Athletics. Mount Sterling Savings Center, conveniently located at 201 West Main, the intersections of Routes 24 and 99, is a branch of the Beardstown Savings located at 301 South Main. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. When it comes Back with you on BC Warner Sports as we get ready for the bottom of the first inning. It'll be Dieterle Henry Boylan for your Yingling Innocent first three for the inning. They're at 111 West Washington in Mount Sterling. Pitch high for a ball. York steps back on the left-hander. Facing the right-handed Dieterle, the pitch. Ball down the right left field line. Fair ball by about a foot. It's going to skip past the left fielder. There's going to be at least a double for Dieterle as he gets into second base, standing up with a stand-up double to start out with. That'll bring up Maverick Henry, the shortstop today. York checks the runner, shortstop, second baseman, in and out. Here's the pitch, ball outside. The 
stretch by York. Shortstop behind Dieterly right now. A little cat and mouse game. Here we go. Ball. Two balls, no strikes. The stretch in the pitch. Line drive into left center field. That's going to go to the fence, folks. That's going to be at least that's going to be an RBI for Henry. Henry rounds second base. He's going to go in with a second, a stand-up double for Henry. That's two doubles in a row. And that gives Henry the RBI there and puts Brown County up one to nothing here in the first inning. Next batter up will be Matt Boylan, the pitcher. See what Boylan can do here. Pitch by York. Strike called at the knees. He checks the runner. Next pitch in the dirt. For a ball, makes it 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike. Maverick may get caught. And the ball is there, and he's out. As he got caught leaning too far. That's going to be a 1-4-5 on that out. So we get ready to go here again. One out for Brown County. Boylan drives it back up past the second baseman. That's going to be a single for Boylan. Three straight hits for Brown County off of York. That would have moved the runner at least to third base. Brings up a rebar check. Our check steps in. He's a cleanup hitter today. Throw to first, back in time. York checks the runner. About a five foot lead, back in time. Trying to look to see who's over there to run for him. Or Boylan is running for himself. Pitch. High. Two balls, one strike. No, excuse me. Just one ball. You work with the stretch. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got his head way out ahead in front of that one. Got to get that head down on the ball. Back to first. Runners back in time. The stretch. Here's the pitch. Ball high. 2-1. Here's the stretch in the 2-1 pitch. Fouled off the catcher. He'll take a second on that one. Kevin Nichols, it says here, is one of the umpires today. He's behind the plate. 2-2 Two -two pitch. York checks. Boylan with a little bigger lead. Goes off to second. They uh, had him picked off, and they threw the ball away. That's going to be an error on the pitcher.
Now we got a runner down to second base. Or a bar check with a 2 2 count. And the first baseman wants to change his glove. Cook getting back across the field for that. Just one runner out here as Maverick Henry got picked off. Leaning just too far one way. They threw to second and he had already taken off and got thrown out at third. Boiling down with a single. Swing and a miss for Rebarchik. Strike three. That'll be two outs for Brown County. Bring up Meyer Maxwell, the second baseman. Brown County's had a double, a double, a single, and a strikeout. Maxwell, the number five hitter. Next pitch. First pitch was a believable ball. Next pitch from York. Ground ball to the second baseman. That'll be Stock over to first base to Cook for the out. That'll be 4-3 on the out, but not before Brown County gets one run on three hits, one error, and one left on base as we head to the top of the second. It's Brown County 1 and try hope you nothing. To becoming a better version of you, there's no place to start like the Y. The Mount Sterling Community Center YMCA offers activities for the whole family. From youth sports to summer day camp, we have something for all ages. Kickstart your new healthy routine with our group exercise classes or work out in our fitness center, complete with a full line of cardio and weight equipment. Our indoor rubberized track is perfect for both running and walking, while our full-size gymnasium offers space for pickup basketball games and volleyball leagues. On-site child care is available while you work out for children as young as six weeks. We hope you'll join us at the Mount Sterling YMCA. Your future self and family will thank you. Arusa Garden ships home and garden accents coast to coast, right from its location in Mount Sterling. The folks there customize each sale by painting unique and vintage colors to match the look of the home or flower garden. They also do wrought iron fencing. How long does that last? 100 years? 200 years? Who knows how long wrought iron fencing will last? Shop www.arusticgarden.com and get it shipped directly to your front door. Have you ever thought about opening the door to a new truck driving career? If so, BNN Trucking is looking for you. At BNN Trucking, we offer competitive pay, healthcare, 401k, paid vacation, and holiday pay. BNN Trucking is currently looking for over the road, regional, and home every night delivery specialists. BNN Trucking runs the latest in modern equipment. For full details, please visit bnntrucking.net or call 217-289-3555. Hi, I'm Heather Henry, owner and instructor at Heather's Tumble and Tap in Mount Sterling, where we have been teaching dance to the children of Brown County and the surrounding areas since 1995. We offer classes in tap, jazz, palm, tumbling, and offer an all-boys tumbling class for all those future Hornet athletes. At Heather's Tumble and Tap, we focus on fun, friends, and the fundamentals of dance in a non-competitive atmosphere. We'll be back with Heather, Heather's Temple and Tap at the next break. First pitch is a ball to the batter, Austin Struby. Struby steps back in. Tall, lanky kid, good basketball player. Pitch, strike at the knees. That'll make a 1-1. Struby with the pitch. Ball outside, close. A pitch, ground ball foul. 2-2, two, two. two balls, two strikes. Here's the wind, the pitch. 
Ground ball right back to the pitcher. Boylan throws over to first to, to Dieterle. And it'll be 1-3 on the out for the first out here in the second inning. Brings up Evan Bell, the center fielder. First time up for him. Bell, right-handed hitter. Boylan steps on, looks in at bus for the signal. Here's the pitch. Strike called outside corner. Pitch popped up. That's down the left field line in foul territory. Gassing getting over there makes the catch. Up. Oh. Nope, can't, didn't make the catch. Sorry about that. <laughs> Two strikes on the batter, Bell. One out here. Top of the second inning. Brown County leads one to nothing. Boylan looks in. Here's the wind the pitch. Fouled off, down the third baseline. That'll keep it 0-2. It's off the end of the bat. Here's the 0-2 from Boylan. Popped up foul the other direction, right out of field. Behind us someplace, keeps it 0-2. Boylan with the wind. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Pass Maxwell. Going to be a base hit. Picked up in right field by Eli Staten and back in. And that will be held to a single first hit for Triopia in this contest. And that put Bell on. Bell got good speed. Running back in football. Brings up Ian Stock. Good lead, about six foot lead by Bell. He's going to take second on the wild pitch. Runner down to second base, one out. 1-0 pitch, coming to stock. Ball high. Next pitch, high for a ball. Three balls, no strikes. Runner at second base. Maxwell holding close, then back off. Now here's the pitch. Strike call on a 3-1. Perry's took him to 3-1 count, just like that. Then he got him to hit the next pitch. Let's see what happens here. Swing and a minute. Ooh, throw was just a hair high and just quite couldn't get in. Stolen base. That yeah, made it 3-2. It was a strike. We got one out here. The runner at third base. Here's the pitch. Ball low. Be ball four. That'll bring up the uh, seventh place hitter, Jacob Cook, the first baseman.
Boylan stretches. About a six foot lead at first for Stock. Strike call. So it being a one to nothing ball game, I wouldn't look for Brown County to throw to second. They might throw a pickoff move to first base here. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Pass Maxwell. That's going to be the RBI single. Fielded by Sefton. And there's a second hit in this inning for Triopia. Gets Cook on RBI. And makes it a 1-1 ball game. One ball. And so the next batter will be the eighth place batter, Carter Lakehamp. Carter stands in, right hand side. Stretched by Boylan. Here's the pitch. Roth to plate. Bus has got it. Throws to first. Two three on the uh, sacrifice. Moving runners over. That'll bring up the ninth place hitter, Sam Miller. Strike called. Next pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. Got two outs. Ball game tied up 1-1 one, one here. Boylan would like to get the batter out and in this inning with runners at second and third. Ball high. Nice job by Bus to get up out of the crouch to get that. Stretch. The pitch. Popped up foul, out of play. Keeps it one and two. A stretch by Boylan, here comes a one-two pitch. A little high and outside, two-two. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch. Strike three called. Called third strike. That'll be one run on two hits. No errors. And two left on base as we head to the bottom of the second. It's tied one to one. Brown County and Triopia in boys baseball. We'll be back after these messages. Follow us on Facebook to stay up to date on upcoming classes and events. Go Hornets! The Brown County Animal Rescue is a foster-based rescue in Mount Sterling, Illinois. We have multiple families in the community who step forward and take care of our animals for us until we can find the permanent home that's perfect for them. We have multiple community programs, including a trap neuter release program, low cost span neuter transport, foster and adoption programs, as well as our blessing box. Brown County Animal Rescue is here to support our community and improve animal welfare. Learn more at bcanimalrescue.com. Looking for a place to gather? Meet me at the library. Need free access to computers and Wi-Fi? Meet me at the library. What about a resource for schools and students? Meet me at the library. How about a space designed just for kids? Meet, Meet me at the library. Where can all of Brown County go for books, history, entertainment, and community? Well, meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. First three for Brown County, brought to you by Yingling and Agency, 111 West Washington in Mount Sterling. Give them a call, 217-773-3397. It'll be Jack Buss, Dylan Rice, and Jack Sefton. York still on the mound for Triopia. 
And Bus hits one into left center, left center fielder Miller in to make that catch. For a minute, it looked like it was going to get down, but the wind held it up out there. And that brings up Dylan Chili Dog Rice. He's the DH today. Bats from the right side, the pitch. Line drive up the middle, and that'll be down for a base hit for the fourth hit of the ball game for Brown County. That'll put Rice at first base. Stretch by York. Rice at first. Swing and a miss by the batter Sefton. Rice with about a yard lead there. The pitch hit into left field. Coming in hard. That is Miller and it's going to fall for a base hit for the Fifth base hit of the ball game for Brown County. Runners at first and second. Wine Cassing, the left fielder, comes up. He'll bat from the left hand side. Girls game seven to nothing. Triopia after a half inning of action over there. Brown County up to bat. Looks like Lower got on with a hit. Here's the pitch. High for a ball. One-zero pitch from York. Runners at first and second. Rice at second base. So we're essentially. I'm not saying Chili Dog's not fast, but uh, he runs station to station. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Ball high. Snap throw to first. Goes off the runner. And everybody stays where they're at. Three balls, no strikes. The stretch. Here's York's pitch. Strike called. Make it a 3-1 count. Ducks on the pond here. You put in the gap, even Chile is going to score. The pitch. Ball four. That's going to load the bases up. Come on, Collins, like last time. Dieterly up with an opportunity with three RBIs sitting out there. Got good speed on the bases behind Rice. So if the ball gets in the gap, there's going to be at least two RBIs here. York stretches. Ball to the third baseman. That's Struby. He's going to pick up, touch third, and do a fielder's choice there. That's going to be a RBI. High pitch for a ball to the batter Maverick Henry who had a double and then got picked off in a run or taken third base. Caught stealing, I guess. Here's the pitch. Strike call makes it 1 1. Girls game still. 7 nothing. bottom of the first. They've got Lore over to third base, but it looks like they got one out. Got a chance to score a run over there. Ball in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher. Everybody's going to move up. Sefton over to third. Casting down to second base. 
That makes it two balls and a strike to Maverick Henry. Two outs. Need a base hit to get some more runs here. And I got to get that run up on the board, make it 2 1. As Rice scored on the fielder's choice. I'll go back and see how Doug Henry scored that. Fouled that ball off. That'll make it 2 2. Fielder's choice with two outs. I don't know that he gave an RBI on that. Here's the pitch. Ball high. 3-2. Yep, he gave him an RBI on that. Okay. Pitch. Ground ball back up the middle off the mound. The second baseman's going to get to it. Can he get Henry at first? No. That's going to be an infield hit. Infield hit for Henry and an RBI. How do I make it a three to one ball game? Got to bring Boylan up, first time up. He got on with a base hit. Was stranded at second. Pitch. Ball. Pretty good pitch there. Girls 7-1 as Lore scores over there on that contest. Good for the girls. They've had a problem. They've only scored two runs in one ball game, and that was it. Strike called. One ball, one strike. Here's the stretch. And the pitch. Foul off. That'll make a one, two. One, two, the count. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Foul off. Keeps it one, two. Brown County hit it around the second time. Two batters, this third batter into the second time around. Triope just finishing the first round in this 3-1 contest. Here's the stretch by York. Checks Henry over, back in. He's about five foot off the bag was all he was. A pretty easy back in. Does stretch. The pitch. Henry's going, fouled off. Brown County with just one run. It's seven to one over in the girls' softball contest at the end of one inning. Jack's the runner first. York does. Back in time. Stretch. And here's the pitch. Ball hit right side into right field. Lake Camp comes in. Makes the catch. But now before Brown County gets two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left on base. As we head to the top of the third, Brown County three, Triopia one, we'll be back. The Joel Oliver Memorial Pool needs an update because if we don't, in five or ten years it won't be here. 
I got involved with the pool when I was eight years old and I went door to door asking for donations to help build the pool. Now I get to bring my daughter here. It's just awesome to be able to have that. 30 plus years ago, the community came together to build what we have today. And we would really like to keep that going for another 30 years for the next generation to enjoy. Mount Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. It's three to one here, Brown County leading in boys baseball as we head to the top of the third. First three brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency here in Mount Sterling will be York, Fricky, and Parrish. One, two, three in that Triopia batting order over in the other field. It is seven to one. Uh, Triopia girls leading Brown County as they're into the second inning of play. Top of the second, now make it eight to one on a wild pitch. It looks like somebody scored. And so, eight to one. Boylan still on the mound here for Brown County as we get to the bottom or top of the third inning. York, his first time up, grounded to the second baseman. The wind by Boylan and here's the pitch. Popped up, foul out of play. Boylan looks in, popped up foul again, makes it 0-2. 0-2 on two foul balls. Next pitch, ooh, just outside. One, two pitch, popped up, foul, one, two. One, two pitch from Boylan. Curveball just misses outside, makes it two, two. Thought he'd get him to go for it. And I have to come after him on this pitch. Don't want to get to a 3-2 count. Ball low. That's he. And some part calls a low strike, but that was way low. 3-2 pitch from Boylan. Ground ball to the second baseman, Maxwell. He fumbles the ball, throws over to first. Going to be late. That's going to be an E4. Air on the second baseman, Maxwell, as he let it bound off of his glove and the quick running Brock York. When he's not on the mound, he plays center field. Play ball here. Let's go. That'll bring Grant Fricky up. Grant Fricky got caught looking his first time up. Next pitch. Ground ball to the third baseman, and Rebar check bounces off his chest. He throws over to first, gets him 5 3. Nice job by Rebar check to stay with that. The ball came up on him, hit him in the chest. That's what's supposed to happen with that. Nice job of fielding. Cooper Parrish up, runner down at second base, though. Parrish uh, grounded back to the pitcher. Boylan back in the first inning. One out, runner at second base, 3-1 ball game. Brown County up 3-1. to one. A pitch inside for a ball. Beautiful day for baseball. Glad we could finally get out here and do it. I'm sorry, it 
66. I'm not getting out when it's in the 50s and the wind is blowing a high heaven or it looks like it's going to rain and we put our equipment out in the rain. We're just glad to see some good weather this week and an opportunity to broadcast a lot of baseball. Two balls, no strikes to the first baseman, Parrish, or the catcher, Parrish, excuse me. Good lead down at second by York. Ball hit into right field. Eli Staten's got a beat on that, throws back into second base, and York's got to retrack his steps there. Nice job. Two outs. That brings up Austin Struby. He grounded back to the pitcher his first time up. Three to one. Top of the third, Brown County with the lead over on the girls. Top of the second inning, Brown County down 8-1 to one over there. Grounded off. Foul. Austin, the son of Kirk Struby. Kirk, Kara. Here's the pitch. York going to third. Throw down there, high and late, as York stole the base. Not going to make a difference if he can get Struby. He's got him on a 1 0 count here. The stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's a curveball. I'm going out there the same place with this next pitch if it's me. One and one. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to the third baseman. Ravarchek keeps it in front of him. Throws over to first. Scoop by Dieterle. Nice job over there. Both ends of that play. 5-3 as Dieterle makes a great scoop over there. As Ravarchek Ball bounce and he quickly threw and no runs on no hits, one air, and one left on base. That's the way we like to see it as we head to the bottom of the third. It's Brown County three and Triopia one over on the girls' side at the bottom of the second. It is Triopia eight and Brown County one. We'll be back. Service Master Restore provides something very important to insurance carriers, and it's something no other disaster restoration company can match. It's genuine partnership. Service Master Restore should be your preferred provider for several important reasons. Policyholders report higher satisfaction when the insurer recommends a restoration company. Service Master Restore has the highest customer satisfaction rating among all major restoration companies. High customer satisfaction is proven to result in greater customer retention. We care, we serve, we deliver. We do the right thing. At Land Guys, we specialize in recreational property because we speak the language. We connect sellers to the next generation of buyers who share a passion for land. At Land Guys, we provide industry leading marketing while ensuring a smooth and hassle free experience. We will make you the most money for your property. If you're in the market to sell, Contact one of Illinois' top land brokers, Land Guys Toby Stay, at 217-257-6096. Back with the NBC Hornet Sports as we head to the bottom of the third inning. It is Brown County 3 and Triopia 1. Up will be Rabarchek, Maxwell, and Buss for the Yingling Innocent Top 3 for this inning. Stop in and see them at 111 West Washington, or give them a call at 217-773-3397. want to thank uh, um, Scranton Heating and Cooling for our pregame sponsor, Dot Transportation. Go to driveforDTI.com, see what they can do for driving for you, and Blessing Health Systems for our keys to the game. Reparchik steps in. 
New pitcher on the mound. I'll get that for you here in a second. First pitch is a strike. Pitcher is 23. That'll be Grant Fricky. That'll be bottom of the third. He took over pitching. Next pitch. Popped up. Right side. Second baseman over to make that catch and does. And let's see who that is. That's 16. That's still Sock with that. As Barcheck put the bat on the ball, I would say yes, York is in center field. And your center, uh, Bell, probably came in to play shortstop, I'm going to bet. Yep. Popped up foul by Maxwell. Next pitch, ball outside. Perky actually uh, lives in the house next to where my parents used to live. And his grandparents ended up buying my parents' house. Ground ball to third. That's going to be Struby over to first. Nice scoop over there by Cook. That'll make a 5-3 in the second out here. That'll bring up Jack Buss. Two outs, next pitch. Curveball for a strike. Can't give up on the ball pitch. You gotta stay with it until it's in the glove. Use the wind and the pitch. Fouled off high. Chase that high fastball. Makes it 0-2. O two, three 2 3 to one ball game here. Brown County with the lead here. Batting in the bottom of the third. Fights that off. That's foul and out of play. We're on the girls' side. Let's see. It looks like they're in the top half of the third. Still 8-1 to one, Triopia. They've got a runner on third base. O two 2 pitch from Fricky. Wow. One, two. I don't know if I could have took one, that one there. Um, Bob, pretty close. The pitch, curveball goes after curveball. Catcher drops the ball, throws to first, gets him out. He goes as a strikeout. Oh, one, two, three for Brown County. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on bases. We head to the top of the fourth. It's Brown County three and Triopia one. We'll be back. Larry Downing County has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Downing County, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400. I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rig since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Culbertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. 
From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. Learn more at hospital.com. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. Reminiscing a little bit here with Bob Cassing of who Grant Fricky is and who his grandpa was and his great grandpa. I've uh, been reminiscing about some Triopia stuff, been going through my mom's collection of stuff. And if you're a Triopia fan, you may have seen it online from the, uh, I believe, the 70 basketball team that beat uh, Jacksonville in the regional before we had classes and then lost to the, the Twins uh, from Pittsfield on the in that tournament for the championship. Ball low for the batter, Bell. He'll lead off here. Bell is now at shortstop. First pitch to him was a ball. Next pitch from Boylan. Hit down the third baseline just out of Reparchek's reach. They said it was a fair ball. And in for a double. That'll put a runner down at second base and Bell, and he's got some speed and put up Ian Stock, who had a base on balls. Bell now two for two on the day with a base hit and a double. High for a ball. Trying to look 10-1 to one over on the girls' game, and I want to take a look here, see where Boylan is on his pitches. One ball, no strikes. They're going to try to hold Bell, but he's got a good 15-foot lead down at second base. Strike call, makes it 1-1. He'll score on anything hit out of the infield. Boylan up to 55 pitches in this contest. Pickoff move, throws to Maxwell, but there's the fast Bell. He had such a big lead that even though they threw behind him, One ball, one strike to the batter stock. Runner at third now in this 3-1 contest. So we're in the top of the fourth. Strike called. One, two. Next pitch. Inside for a ball. Makes it 2-2. Two, two. Pitch, fouled off. Keeps it 2-2. Long week this week for Brown County. We're going to find out what kind of pitching we've got and how deep it is. There's five varsity games on the schedule. Ball inside. That makes a full count. Here's the pitch. Ball four. Two walks for Stock. He's yet to swing the bat. First and third. That'll bring up Jacob Cook, the first baseman. He got an RBI single his first time up and got stranded at second base. Twelve to one in the girls' game. Ground ball to Rebarcheck. He'll go over to first. The runner will score. Well, that'll be a sacrifice for Cook in an RBI. The other runner runs down to Stock. Goes down to second base. That'll make it a three to two ball game as he's out five three. 
3-2. They're bringing up Carter Lakecamp, the right fielder. He sacrificed. Moved the runners over. Grounded out. It was a 2-3. Popped up the ball foul. Top of the third, girls. It's 12-1. Triope's got two people on base and one out. Good lead down at second base for Stock. Straight called. No balls, two strikes to the batter Carter Lake Camp. The pitch. Strike three called. Got caught looking for the second out. That'll bring up Sam Miller. He got caught looking for Boylan. That is just his, that's his third strike out of the ball game. Okay, Ward. I'm trying to look here. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Runner goes to third. Ball on the outside of the bag. Pitch, low for a ball. Deuces are wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner down a third, three to two contest here. Stretched by Boylan, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three as he gets another strikeout. Four for him on the day. And that'll be one run on one hit. No errors, and one left on bases. We head to the bottom half of the fourth. It's Brown County up 3-2. We'll be back after these messages. Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. Napa Hello, Earl Flack. For your locally owned McKay Nap Auto Parts, it's March Savings, kind of like March Madness. Stop by any McKay Nap Auto Parts store and receive a Napa racing hat. Chase out it with a $25 purchase while supplies last. Got batteries on sale, lawn and garden. Got marine batteries on sale, golf cart batteries on sale. Napa antifreeze, $9.99 for the Napa antifreeze. Get the good stuff. Also have shell antifreeze. I got Xerox antifreeze. Get the car supplies. Get it while it's hot. Thank you for your business. ADI, located in Golden, is one of North America's largest pattern tiling installers. We've helped farmers create water management systems for over 40 years with pattern tiling across farm fields, generating proven data showing a boost in yield and greater profitability. Changing weather patterns do not have to cost you yield dollars anymore. Start with a free estimate now by calling your local ADI representative, David Lohman, at 309-280-2411 or by visiting our website at agdrainage.com. Here we go, the bottom of the fourth, first pitch to Dylan Rice, a ball, next pitch from Fricky. Foul tip, makes it a 1-1. One, one. Catcher gonna take a minute, does the umpire. Walks out to the mound to deliver the ball back. It's on the inside of the leg, I'll just say that. 
I don't care how much protection you have. There's a vulnerable spot there. Just ask Yadier Molina about. You can't cover everything. Ricky looks for the wind on the 1-1 pitch. Here we come. Try called on a curveball. That was more like a slider kind of curve. It did not have a lot of break on it. One to the count. Ricky winds. Big curve ball hits it right in the gap. Base hit. Textbook hitting there on a curve ball by Dylan Rice says you just got to wait on it and wait on it. And he did, and the shortstop was favoring up the middle. Figuring that he, and he hit it right in the gap. We got a pinch runner, I see. Trying to see who the pinch runner is. 12 to 1 on the other girls' other score, so we'll go over to that one and see who we got pinch running. Check the runner back over. Is that Staten running? I think it's Eli Staten running for him. Ball. Rice batting for Staten in the lineup. Got one ball on the batter, Sefton. Sefton got a base hit his last time up and scored. The pitch shows bunt. Nice bunt. Gets it just to the pitcher. The only play is to first base. And Staten gets down to second base on the sacrifice. Couple of textbook plays there. Number one, Rice getting the base hit on that curveball. And then number two, how to, how to sacrifice the man over, get that butt past the pitcher. So the only choice he's got is to go to first base. Good lead down at second by Staten, a good 10 feet. Cassing swings and misses. Cassing got a base on balls his last time up. Bats from the left hand side. Here's the pitch. High ball. 1 1. On deck will be Colin Dieterly. One for two on the day with an RBI and a run scored. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Frankie with the stretch. Looks in. Here's the pitch. Ball. Three one should be. Fricky checks the runner. Staten at second. Pitch. Ball four. Two base on balls. No official at bat four. Cassing puts Dieterly up with ducks on the pond. Dieterly one for two on the day with an RBI run scored and a double was on that hit that he got. Hit a rope down the third baseline about a foot off of the left field line went to the fence. Need another one of those. Curveball in the dirt. Ball. What we're going to start seeing here is the warmer weather will bring out the ball. will be a lot more lively as far as coming out of the pitcher's hands and moving. Here's the pitch. Strike called right at the letters. 
One ball, one strike. Stretch, pitch, popped up, right hand side. Second baseman's going back in stock. He's got it for the catch. I believe that would have been an infield fly. Two outs now. Maverick Henry up. He's got two RBIs on the day. A double and a single. Let's make it a three for day here. Let's make it a triple. He needs a triple or a home run. On his uh, run for the cycle today, he's got the single and the double. Giving something to put into play here. The third base, or the right field, left field line is wide open if he can get around on and wait on a curveball. First pitch to him was a ball. Crimping in toward the middle more than anything in the outfield. Ball. Said it was outside. Two balls, no strikes. On deck, Boylan. He's one for two on the day. Pitch in the dirt, gets past. Both runners are going to go up. Staten goes to third. And down to second will be Cassie. Three balls, no strikes. He's got to come after Henry. Stretch by Fricky. Here's the pitch. Strike taken all the way. He's still got to come after you on the 3 1. Stretch by Fricky. Runners with good leads. Strike two. Ran it to full. Two outs. Ducks on the pond here. Pitch. Swing and a miss as Henry missed. Strike three. As Fricky gets a strikeout. That's his second strikeout of the ball game. And with that, we'll head to the top of the fifth. Brown County leading 3-2. We'll be back. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French, and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times. And you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area, and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799. Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We are excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports as we head to the top half of the fifth inning. Brown County with a slim lead, 3-2 here. We'll check the girls' score for you over on the other side here. Looks like it's 12-2 over there. 12-2, the top of the fourth. And two people on for Triopia ball low. Two 
Top of the order, York, Fricky, and Parrish. I think. Ball hit. Center field. And there's Sefton for it. As York flies out. Grant Fricky, the pitcher up. He started today at short. In the bottom of the third, he came in to pitch. Boylan still on the mound for Brown County here in the fifth, up to 73 pitches in this ball game. And I got to look. We got a different batter here. 23. Nope, Grant's up. Oh, I'm looking again at the wrong thing. Got the girls up. The wind in the pitch. Ball low again for ball two. 12-2 over in the girls' game. They've matched their high for girls, our Brown County girls for scoring. Got two runs today. Lower on the mound for them. Three balls, no strikes to this batter, Grant Fricky. Strike three called, or strike one called. Three balls, one strike. Ball four. First time Fricky's been on base today. As uh, he struck out, got struck out looking, grounded to the third baseman, Rabarchek. And uh, that'll bring up Parrish. Parrish is 0 for 2 on the day. He grounded back to the pitcher and popped up to the right fielder. Coach Hoots is going out to check out. Uh, trainer's going out with him. With that, we'll take a break. We'll be back. LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas. Specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons. Commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. Hi, this is Brad Cassing here in Mount Sterling at Ray Insurance Agency. Uh, I want to thank you for supporting Brown County Athletics. I'd also like to mention that uh, you probably know that we are specialists in crop insurance, uh, hail insurance, and also any farm coverages that you might need. But what you probably don't know is we have very competitive rates on homes, autos, and commercial business. So I uh, thank you for supporting Brown County Sports and uh, look forward to hearing from you. My number is 217 773 3851. When it comes to your money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community, working where we live. We make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Mitsubishi Ductless Systems give you individual room control and allergen filtration with no ductwork, so you can be as comfortable as you want anywhere in your home. The Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling can help you design a Mitsubishi system for your new addition, remodeling project, or man cave or she shed. Call Scranton Heating and Cooling today to come and evaluate the best option available to you. The Comfort Man, 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. New pitcher on the mound for us, Maverick Henry on the mound. Runner goes down to second base. That's going to be Fricky stealing that base. Runner at second base, one out. Cooper Parrish, the catcher up. First pitch to him was the ball. Next pitch from Henry, swinging a strike at the low fastball. Makes it a 1-1 count. The 1-1 one, one pitch from Henry. Curveball in the dirt gets past. Fricky's going to go down to third. Yeah. 
13 to two over in the girls game. Looks like uh, bases were loaded. Now it's going to be 14 to two as one run comes in. Looks like on a fielder's choice over there. Next pitch, swing and a miss. Big swing. Two balls, two strikes, just one out here. Here's the pitch. Ball. Foul ball. Still keeps it 2-2. Cooper Parrish, the catcher, over two on the day, grounded back to the pitcher and popped up to right field. 15 to two on the girls. And it looks like they might have got another run there. Strike three, Henry gets his first strike. One to Boylan left out with one, two, three, four strikeouts in the contest for him. Good job by Matt Boylan on the day. That'll bring up Austin Struby. Line drive, center field, base hit. Going to be an RBI base hit as Sefton gets that ball and gets it back in. Makes it a 3-3 three to three contest as Grant Fricky scores on that. 3-3 three, three here in the top of the fifth. 15-2 to two over to girls on the top of the fourth inning. Short lead as they have a pinch runner. Nope, that's Truby. He's got some speed. Gets about a five foot lead. Pitch was a ball. One ball, no strikes. Next pitch. Runner goes. Low throw. That was a hard pitch. That was an inside pitch that uh, Buss had to go after and then turn his body completely around to get down to second. Made it pretty close for so a stolen base for Struby. Ground ball. Rabarchek makes the play. Throws over to first for the out. Nice job by Vlad Rabarchek, 5-3 on the out there. For Triumphia, they've got one run on one hit. No errors. And one left on base as we head to the bottom half of the fifth. It's a 3-3 ball game between Brown County and Triopia. 15-2 over on the girls midway through the fourth inning. We'll be back. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, so you know what that is. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. Yingling and Nissan Insurance. Stop in and talk to one of our agents today about your insurance needs. We really appreciate the support of the community in our business for the last 40 some years. Come and see us if you have questions on, on your policy with us or if you want a quote and you're with someone else now, we'd be happy to work with you. If Yingling and Nissan Agency a call at 217-773-3397. Go on it! Banks are involved. Back with you as we go to the bottom of the fifth. It's a 3-3 contest. Matt Boylan up. Matt got a base hit and was stranded at second base. Popped up to the right fielder, so he's put the bat on the ball. Fricky still on the mound. Here's the pitch. Low for a ball. Boy.
Boylan steps back in. He started the game on the pitcher's mound. He got about four in a third innings. Ball inside. Two balls, no strikes. Folks, you can't get a better day to watch baseball than today. I should have put my shorts on. Foul back. I thought I'd jinx it. Two balls, one strike to Boylan. Got Raparchik on deck. He's been a pretty good, he's been a really good third baseman today for Brown County. Ball. 3 1. Frankie looks in. Nobody out, nobody on. 3 3 contest. Ball four. Boylan takes the base on balls. How to bring Rabarchek up. Barchek's had a tough day at the plate. He got a strikeout and popped up to the second baseman, but he's uh, he's fielded about everything that's been hit to him down to third base that he can get a glove on. One, he just didn't. Runner was too quick to get out after he took it off the chest. Boylan back in there. Vlad a sophomore. Sophomore. Stretch and the pitch. Ball. Full schedule for you this week. Other than it looks like there's possibly rain on Thursday. That'll be the day North Green's in town. Hopefully we can get both them games in. Throw to first. Back in time, but that was a heck of a move right there. And a good tag. And at first base, I got a limb. Still got Cook at first base. Here's the stretch. The 1-0 pitch. Ball inside. He almost leaned into that one. Almost got a personalized swish across the front, underneath the uh, Hornet on that on that inside fastball. 2-0 pitch coming their way. Curve ball. He hits it to the right side. The right fielder comes in. Lay camp makes the catch. So Parchek 0 for 3 on the day brings up Maxwell. He's 0 for 3. He's hit a grounder to the second baseman. A grounder to the third baseman. Second and third. Got a runner at first in Boylan. He'd like to come around, take the lead. Right now, both starting pitchers off the hook with a 3-3 tie. Throw to first, back in time. Stretch. Pitch. Strike called. Throw to second base. And they got him. Nice throw by the catcher Parrish down there. As he threw it to the second base side. If you're going to err on a side there, err on the second base side where they can tag the runner as he goes by. And they did that. And that'll be a 2-6 on that out. Two outs now. Maxwell with one strike. Here's the pitch from Fricky. Base hit. That one's going to go to the fence. Maxwell's going to get himself a double. York's going to throw it, get the ball back in. And a base hit if, if we hadn't lost the runner there. First and third, or we could have had a run there for the lead. So it's going to be up to uh, Jack Buss. Jacks popped up to left field and struck out swinging in this contest. End of the ball game over for the girls. They ended up losing the ball game 15 to 2. They say the end of the fourth. I don't know if it's over or not. Ground ball to the shortstop. Bell fumbles the ball. Oh, and it's a good thing it didn't get past him very far. Otherwise, Maxwell would have been in. That's going to be an E. 
It's going to be an E6. Moves the runner over to third in Maxwell. Gonna leave bus in to run right now. Or did they? First and third, two outs. Rice the manor. He's got two base hits on the day. Let's make it three. Strike called on the first pitch. Frankie checks the runners. Short lead by Bus. Popped up. Foul. Catcher's going after it. Out of play. 0 oh, 2. 3 to 3 contest here. Nope, the girls are not done, I don't think. It's the top of the fifth, 15 to 2. And Triope's got two people on base. That's what's going on in the girls' contest. Lisa's got that for you. We're here with the boys in baseball. We've got a 3-3 three to three contest here. Stretch by Fricky. The pitch popped up. Foul ball right side. Last time Rice was up, he waited on a curveball and drove the ball to the left-hand side between the short and third baseman, and that hole is back there again. Let's see if they'll make the mistake of throwing him a curveball again. Pitch, curveball. No, it missed. Three ball, or one ball, two strikes. He'll probably come back with that big hook again, trying to get him to bite on it. Nope. High inside. Ball popped up. Third baseman Struby back behind the bag. Makes the catch. 3-3 three, three ball game. Brown County with no runs. On one hit. One air. And two left on base as we head to the top half of the six. It's a 3-3, Brown County and Triopia. We'll be back. In every aspect of our daily lives, they support us as we turn life's goals into accomplishments. Goals like purchasing that new car, opening a small business, buying or building a home, planning a wedding, or preparing for retirement. Bank with a partner you can trust and count on. Farmer State Bank and Trust Company of Mount Sterling. Locally owned, locally operated, locally dedicated. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. As a student at St. Mary's School, your child will receive strong educational foundation embedded with Christian values. All students, kindergarten through eighth grade, have individual iPads along with personalized attention with a small class size. St. Mary's also offers Fulham half-day pre-K, affordable tuition, a family atmosphere, and exceptional teachers. Register your child today by calling Melissa at St. Mary's School at 217-773-2825. When I started at DOT, I realized I could make a career out of this. It's just amazing the people you get to interact with when you get here. It's a family atmosphere for me. One of my main jobs is talking to people, trying to understand what's going on, uh, where they're at in life, what, what they're needing from me to get their job done. I've met so many people, and uh, it's been a real blessing to be a part of all that. Big company in a small town, that's a fact. When my life needed growth, I chose DOT, and I never left. Back with you, 3-3 tie as we head to the top of the sixth inning. Henry on the mound for his, uh, this will be his first full inning of work. Had two-thirds of an inning last inning.
First pitch is a ball to the batter, Ian Stock. Pitch, ground ball, third foul. Jacob Cook on deck, stock for the day, two base on balls. Has not got on twice, not hitting the ball. Pitch, strike called. This umpire doesn't like the high one, doesn't like the wide ones, but he'll give you the low strike. Here's the wind and the pitch. Hit the batter. So this batter is 0 for 3, or uh, 0 for 0 on the day. Two base one balls and a hit by pitch. Jacob Cook will be the batter. He uh, has two RBIs on the day with a base hit and a sacrifice. He'll step in from the right side. Played a good first base for Triopia today. Good lead by Stock at first. About five or six feet with a good extension on that as the ball's thrown. Richie Thompson, Adam Brockhouse, the coaches, just a leisurely throw over to first. Pitch, strike. Makes it a 1 1 count. Here's a stretch by Henry in the pitch. Runner goes. Throw down to second base by Bus is high and late. I'm trying to look. Trophy is stolen. One. Two, three, four, five. Stolen five bases on Brown County today. One ball, two strikes to the batter, Cook. Stretch stock with a good lead at second. He's got both middle infielders pinched in, so there's a lot of room. Fouled off. Keeps it one and two. Eighteen to two over in the girls game. Midway through the fifth. Pitch. Strike called. The caught looking. Henry's Second strike, or no. Yeah, second strikeout. 34 coming into the ballgame for Triopia. That'll be uh, Vega Razan. First pitch to him, gives will pass the catcher. And we'll say wild pitch. Moves the runner over to third with just one out. Ball high. Makes it two balls, no strikes. Pitch, swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike. Stretch in the pitch. Three, one. Here's the 3-1 pitch. 
Swing and a miss. Strike two. That'll run at the full count. Pitch by Henry. Foul loft going to keep it 3-2. Ball hit in the right center field, or left center. Casting with the catch, the tag by the runner. And he makes it in, puts Triopia up 4-3. So that's gonna be a sacrifice fly. RBI. Second out. And scoring stock makes it a four to three ball game. First pitch to Sam Miller. Nope, got a new batter. I'll have to look up who this is. 22. It's going to be Andrew Holbrook. Next pitch, a ball. Two balls, one strike to Holbrook. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch. Outside, 3-1. Ground ball to the second baseman, Maxwell, over to first. 4-3 for the out. Not before Triopi gets one run on one hit, no errors. And nobody left on base as we head to the bottom half of the sixth. It's Triopia four and Brown County nothing. Or Brown County three, four to three, excuse me. Just like a coach preparing their team for the new season, Doug and Darren Henry, your ASE certified technicians at Henry Automotive, want to make sure your vehicle is ready for whatever season is ahead. Henry Automotive provides dealership quality auto repair and service at hometown prices. Henry Automotive is located 1157 690th East Street in Mount Sterling. Just turn north at the KC Hall onto Damon Road, drive 1.8 miles and look for the big blue and yellow sign or call Henry Automotive at 773-9066. Maintaining your lawn can be a never-ending battle, but Bemis Lawn Service with their state-of-the-art equipment and skilled team of lawn experts are ready to take on any job you need completed for your lawn, such as lawn maintenance, fertilization, turf weed control, grub control, driveway weed control, overseeding, and shrub trimming. Call Aaron at 217-653-0198 or Scott at 217-653-0197. Bemis Lawn Service, they've got an eye for all things green. Go Hornets! Back with you, bottom of the sixth inning. As we head into that, up will be Jack Sefton, Wyatt Cassing, and back to the top of the order with Colin Dieterle. That's your Yingling and this in top three for this inning. Final score on the girls, 18 to two as they go down to Triopia. Ball hit to the third baseman, that's Struby. He scoops that up, throws over to first, and they make the out. Five three on the out there. More Sefton. That'll bring up Wyatt Casting. He's got two base on balls today. We'd like to see him get a third or a base hit. Base hit. Little blooper right past the short up over the shortstop. One of those seeing eye base hits. 
Comes up with Dieterle up to the plate. This will be his fourth time today. He doubled in the first and scored. Fielder's choice in the second, got an RBI. And uh, popped up to the second baseman in the fourth. Here he is back in the sixth. He could go two for four on the day, and that'd be fine with me. Here's the pitch. Strike call, low. Like I say, he's called that strike all day long. Next pitch from Fricky. He's about in his third inning of work over to first. Back in time. Fricky pitches. Curveball. Nope. I wouldn't throw that again. I'm just saying. Dieter will wait on that and take it someplace. It's a stretch. 1-1 one, one pitch coming from Fricky. Just about a four-foot lead at first. Strike. Same spot he put the last one. Fastball strike on the outside corner. Down low. Here's the pitch. Ball high. 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Casting at first base. Nobody out. Or one out, excuse me. Sefton made the out. Pitch. Base hit. Left center field. That'll get casting down to second base. As a Miller gets that ball back in. Makes Dieterle two for four on the day. Maverick Henry up. First he got a double and an RBI. Got basically thrown out stealing. Base hit in the second. Struck out in the fourth. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Here's a freaky steps off, runs the runner back, casting. Casting with about a 10 foot lead makes Fricky step off. He's got the infield tied up here. Henry's got a good opening in the gaps in the infield here. Right down the line, strike called. Two strikes on Henry. Ball high. One ball, two strikes. One-two pitch coming from Fricky. Casting with a lead. Nobody around him right now. Ground ball, short stop. That's going to be Bell. He's going to throw to third. A tag casting out. Some people didn't like that call. I thought the, the throw and the catch was right there as the runner came into the bag. So could have went either way. We'd slid, we might have got in there. So that's going to be a fielder's choice by Henry. That'll move Dieterle down to second base. Casting is out. Six, five. Second out. Boiling up. So far today, Matty Boylan's got base hit, was stranded, popped up to the right fielder. And grounded out, or 2-6 on an out. 
Wild pitch, everybody moves around. Two outs, we need a base hit here. Boylan can do like he did in the first. Henry down a third, ball low. Two balls. Or three balls, should say. The stretch. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Bases now are loaded. No room in the end for Vlad Rivarchek. He's 0 for 3 on the day. Strikeout swinging. Popped up to the second baseman. Popped up to right field. We need a solid base hit here. Coach Rich Thompson is going to come out and talk to his pitcher, Fricky. We'll be back after these messages. Main Street Repair and Terry Ham have the reputation of being the best at front end alignments in the area. With 20 years of experience, Terry is the person that customers and auto repair professionals refer their friends and customers to. But alignments are not the only thing that they do at the Main Street Repair. They repair steering and suspension issues, install leveling and lift kits, repair and replace brakes and tires, do oil changes, as well as minor engine and miscellaneous repairs. Main Street Repair at 216 West Main Street in Mount Sterling. Call for your appointment today at 217-773-3848. Once again, that's 217-773-3848. 3848. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. We got a 3 3 ball game, top, bottom half of the sixth inning, or a 4 3, excuse me. Triopia with a one run lead. Bases loaded for Brown County, two outs. Where Barcheck fouls that one off. A stretch and the pitch. Ground ball, shortstop Bell. He's got to play at third. Runner is safe. Richie Thompson not liking the call there. Ball was thrown and he had to come back to the bag. And they're going to say that's going to be a, a bar check. I, how do you score that? Let's see what Doug Henry scores it at. Fielder's choice, I think. Dieterly scores from third. Henry's over to third. Boylan at second. Rabarczyk at first in a 4-4 ball game. And that's Maxwell down the right field line. Fair. That's going to score at least one. Rabarczyk gets held up. Say what? All that, and now it's a foul ball. So everybody's going back where they were. All the excitement, nothing occurred. Here we go with Fricky. Strike called. Two strikes on Maxwell. Four to four ball game here. Bottom of six now. Bricky looks in. Bases loaded. Ball in the dirt. Here comes Henry from third. Dives in. Safe. Puts Brown County up five. A wild pitch. Now to put Boylan over to third. For bar check down to second base. Five four as Fricky scores on the or uh, Henry scores on the wild pitch. Fricky ground ball right side. Maxwell gonna throw over. Stock to first. Four three. But not before Brown County gets two runs on one hit, no errors, and two left on base as we hit two. 
the top half of the seventh. Brown County leads now 5-4. We'll be back. This is Tracy Hendricker with the Hendricker Funeral Home in Mount Sterling. For the past 50 years, our family has committed to providing the finest facilities and compassionate services to our community. We pledge to continue to assist the families we serve as though they were our own. We also want to wish the best of luck to all those competing on the playing field or striving for excellence in the classroom. You all make Hornet Nation so very proud. And remember, go Hornets! Hey, this is Lance Grady with L. Grady Realty, Brown County's premier residential and commercial real estate brokerage. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or rent, we would love to work with you. You can check us out on the internet at www.lgradyrealty.com, find us on Facebook, or call or text me personally anytime at 217-491-0812. L. Grady Realty, local brokers, local office, local expertise. We are Brown County's leading residential real estate brokerage. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more as we head to the top of the seventh inning. It is Brown County five and Triopia four. As we uh, get ready here. Everybody wanting to probably get home watch the NCAA basketball tonight. I don't know about you, but I really liked the girls. York up, the leadoff hitter for Triopia. They'd like to get back in this ball game and force Brown County to do something in the bottom half of their inning. First pitch to him is a ball. York a grounded to second baseman. Strike called. Again, that's been a strike all day long, folks. He got on with an error, and he popped up to center field. So he's only been on base once and got stranded. Had a stolen base. Ground ball. Third baseman, Rebarchek, throws over, scooped by scoop it up, Colin. Five three on the out. Rebarchek's gonna fling it over there. He's got a first good first baseman over there in Dieterly who made that scoop. That'll bring up second place hitter, Grant Fricky. He'd like to get himself back in this ball game. Pitch, ground ball, right side. Dieterly with that. Gets it to Henry. Nice job. 3-1 on the out. Maverick Henry did a good job going back on that ball. Dieterly did a good job going to his right to get that ball. That's going to bring up Cooper Parrish. He's 0-3 for 3 on the day. Right called here in the Brown County down to one out. They can win this ball game by one. Rich Thompson would like to have a replay at that for that play at third base. Ground ball. Boyle into short. Over to first to Dieterly. 6-3 on the out. No runs, no hits, no errors for Triopia. And they end up with four runs on Two, three, four, five hits. Brown County had one error. And Triopia left uh, two, three, four, five men on base for Brown County. The winner here, five runs on three, six, seven, eight, nine hits. Triopia had two errors. Brown County left two, four, six, eight, nine men on base. And so that's brought to you by your Mount Sterling IGA, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling. Check out the Facebook spe uh, specials on Facebook daily for their deli. Great place to go for lunch. If you're looking for someplace for lunch that's different, 217-773-2213. If you want to give them a call, 
And then the player of the ball game is going to be brought to you by Casting Lumber Company, hometown family-owned lumber and do-it-best hardware store. Celebrating 50 years in the community, Casting Lumber Company, Route 99 South Mount Sterling. Call 773-2611. And so with that, the player of the ball game today. I tell you what, I am going to... I'm going to give a defensive player of the ball game. I'm going to give that to Vlad Rabarchek at third base, and the offensive player of the ball game. Um, I think I'm going to give that to. Boy, that's a tough one, guys. I'm going to say Maverick Henry went two for four and had two RBI. So, with that, that's my players of the ball game. Full week. Well, I'm sure we'll have lots of players of the ball game this week. With that, thanks to. Mount Sterling Foods for being the post-game sponsor and Casting Lumber Company sponsoring the uh, players of the ball game. We'll be with you tomorrow, 4.30 start, single game. I can't remember who's in town, but uh, it will either be Havana tomorrow or no, 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 no. I can't remember who the other team was. So with that, good night. God bless. <laughs>